Lillian Bussell, a burlesque performer and producer, rallied outside City Hall yesterday with her fellow performers in response to the city's recent shutdown of one of her shows in downtown Jersey City. She told us on camera the message that she wanted to convey to the city council. The reason that I'm speaking up so loudly about this is because I love this city and because I want to see all of the artists here have freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And I'm going to urge um, city council to, as they are rewriting the laws for the obscenity um, code, to specifically protect artists uh, and work with us to figure out what's happening with the ABC laws so that this can all come together and we can get back on back on the stage. But Jersey City resident Richard Suzeski harshly criticized Lillian Bustle's burlesque performances claiming that they are obscene shows that contribute to men being more sexually aggressive towards women. If the city council votes to change the law, then the city council is voting for the approval of sexual assault, rape, broken marriages, lost jobs, and making more people become sex addicts. The city council should be protecting the family and not adding to this destruction. I strongly recommend that obscene entertainment be forbidden in Jersey City for the good of the community. Thank you. Lillian Bustle then responded to Richard Suzuki's claims. Uh, I don't think he knows anything about what I do, and also there are absolutely no statistics that prove that, whether it's for a burlesque show or a strip club. Um, there's no statistics to prove anything that he said. And I feel bad that, that some people are so closed off to enjoying life and and celebrating people's bodies and finding a, a type of art that again like I said is beyond what you can see on TV like I just I it's frustrating to me because I just feel like he doesn't know at all what what I do and what burlesque is about people are excited about ways that we can all celebrate our own bodies and stop feeling crappy about ourselves. And that guy seems like he feels pretty crappy about himself. So it's a shame that I got sucked into that. <laughs> Mark Busanich reporting from Jersey City City Hall for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.